Welcome to the Spinner Rack with your hosts, Brian and Junior. Welcome back to issue 29 of the Spinner Rack, part two of our discussion of comic books in their cartoon form. As always, I'm your host, Big B. Brian Adams, joined by my co-host... Junior, co-host of Comics Remixed. Like we were saying last time, man, so many great comic book-based cartoons. Now let's run on a list of what we've discussed already. We've we nailed Batman. Batman, the anime series. Superman, the animated series. We, we briefly discussed uh, the Justice League cartoons, the later incarnations, not the Super Friends stuff. No, but we did Friends. talk about Super Friends. We talked about Spider-Man. We talked about X-Men. Um, and we talked about Batman. Green and we, Lantern. And Green Lantern. And we, now, what did you think of Spider-Man Unlimited? I didn't like Spider-Man Unlimited. You know which one that was, right? Yeah, that was, that was where they took the idea of 2099 and made it Spider-Man Unlimited. At yeah. least that's my opinion. That's what a lot of people say, but it wasn't the future. It was just an alternate timeline. Right. That he but the, went to, but to the rescue. company was Alchemex, right? Yeah. Which is the company from yeah. 2099. We've talked about a lot of great comic book cartoons. Mm-hmm. I want to nail some of the not-so-great ones. Oh, shit. That kind go. of missed the mark. Here we like go. the 90s Fantastic Four. I'm so-so on that one. Or Silver Surfer. Or Iron Man. Or The Incredible Hulk. I'm so-so on all of those. Really? Yeah. I didn't like any of them. I'm so-so on them. Uh, I wanted to like them all. Pick one and we'll get into it. Ah, see, I don't. I didn't really pay attention to it. Iron Man, I just didn't like. Iron Man was all right. Watching Iron Man at that time was like reading a Avengers West Coast or a fucking Force Works comic. Yeah, because it had like Tigra and wasn't Hawkeye. All it was a, yeah, Hawkeye was in it a little there was bit. A lot it was of West Coast Avenger. It was, was in yeah, show. yeah, it was. Um, but of course, you know, you also had you had the Jessica Drew Spider Woman. Right, right. No, Julia Carpenter. I'm sorry, Julia Carpenter Spider Woman. You had um, Grey Gargoyle. Yeah, I know. But I will say, the Mandarin's portrayal in there was better than it was in Iron Man 3. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, It was more spot on. Blizzard was in there. I, I thought it was a nice opportunity to give uh, a lot of the villains you normally didn't see. I mean, yeah, you could see Iron Man. You, you would see Iron Man before you would see a villain, obviously, right. on any cartoon. Like, Iron Man guest starred on Spider-Man. So... To have Iron Man's quote unquote Rose Gallery, you had the Mandarin. You had oh, like Captain said, America. Didn't Captain America have a cartoon for like a minute? Back in the sixties. Oh, it wasn't the sixties. He didn't yeah, have like one during cool. that Marvel era. No, it was the, uh, the Avengers. Fox. The Avengers had a cartoon. Oh, that's right. And Captain America, Iron Man, and Thor weren't even part of it. The Captain America was. Was he? Yes, they, all sure? of them were. Really? But it focused I must more. I thinking of a later Avengers cartoon that it, was more like Hank Pym, Wonder Man, Tigra, Hawkeye. Yeah, yeah, that's the same one. Wasp. Captain America was in there. Wonder, Wonder Man was in there. There was no Thor. Was there no Thor? I don't think. I so. know Captain America was in there because they made action figures for it. I don't think Iron Man was. Are you sure it wasn't? Are you sure it wasn't U.S. Agent? No, it was Captain America. Was Captain America? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I remember that. I, I didn't, see. I don't remember those show fondly at all, and I don't know if it's because of I that didn't point, watch it. I was a little older. That's what. Yeah. Just like, a, like I said, at that point, I really wasn't watching. Wildcats. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wildcats. Do you remember that cartoon? I got one better for you. I own Savage Dragon. Wow. Even better. Really? I got one for you. The Beast of Savage Dragon. I own. You could beat Savage Dragon. I can beat That's Savage cool. Dragon. You ready for this? I'm ready. Let you drink your water first, man, because I don't need you spitting all over the place. Go ahead. <laughs> chug that shit. You ready? I'm ready. I own the unreleased Disney Gen 13 movie. No. Yes. Which reminds me, I'm supposed to uh, borrow it to John. Gen 13. God. Yep. Crap. But yeah, I own the Savage Dragon cartoon, and I own the Gen 13. I feel like there's something I'm forgetting that was a cartoon. There's a lot of stuff. A lot of shit. A Mm. lot of just, like, bad, like, image stuff made to cartoons. Ooh. Spawn HBO. Awesome. Spawn HBO was fucking awesome, man. That was way before my, uh... I I can't say my time... But that was before my uh, appropriated time. You know what I'm saying? Right, like I was watching quite, as, like with the lights enough. off. Yeah, nice. like that one that stood. Like there was so much sex in that cartoon. You know, like the one where it was the chapel episode, mm-hmm. and he's remembering how he betrayed Al, but he's banging the prostitute doggy style, and while he's banging her, he shouting Al's name, yeah. which I thought was hilarious. <laughs> He's like, Al, I'm sorry, Al. See, and, and that like, sucks. Dude, that there what did that prostitute out? think? It sucks that HBO and other networks didn't take chances to be like, dude, this shit could be handled like... Yeah. We could do something fucking hardcore here, something that could be awesome. And I love how McFarlane did the intro for every episode. I mean, that cartoon was good, and it was like... It wasn't rushed, either. Every every episode, it was taking its time. Mm -hmm. But you know what? That's another show, like I mentioned on the previous issue, where, like, Batman the Animated Series, they didn't play music for every scene, Mm -hmm. so you could feel the emotion in it. That was a dark-ass cartoon. Oh, it was it, great. It was what it was supposed to be. 
I would have liked to see where it went. Now, I think when they finished the third season, they did that on purpose because you were supposed you were supposed to be reading the comic at that point. And I think where the animated series ended is kind of where they were at in the comic. Uh-huh. So you could pick up the comic and still kind of be like, all right, this is kind of where they're at. This is what would happen. You kind know? of like how Smallville ended in they do not be the Smallville comic to continue the story. Which I think they didn't need to do. Yeah, I think story. it should have ended at the end of the Smallville It should have just been its own thing. Yeah, because <clears throat> what happens once he puts a Superman suit on? The Adventures of Clark continue as Superman? Pick up a Superman yeah, comic. Right? There's no need to continue the Smallville universe of it. But from what I was reading with the Smallville universe, what they're doing is uh, hyping up for the crisis. They're going to do a crisis on there. Which one, I don't know, but there's a, a, a different version of Chloe came back, and she's telling the current Chloe, she's like, prepare for the crisis, the crisis is coming. So they're referring to it as the crisis, but they don't know exactly what it is yet. It's supposed to be some that's, big apocalyptic event. That's super lame. They what should have ended it. The Max. Ooh, I remember that. On MTV. Sanchez owns that. I Does think. he? Yeah. That's awesome, man. He owns that. I don't know if I, I don't think I have that. I could never get behind that. That was a weird-ass show, dude. That was t- weird-ass. There was another one, Eon Flux. Ant Flux was very strange, dude. I couldn't get into the animation. I couldn't get into the animation either. I was like, you know who it reminds me of? You read Saga. Yeah. You know, uh, the stalk? Yeah. The chick, the spider chick? Yeah. She okay. reminds me, the way they portray her reminds me of the way the animation was in Eon Flux. They did, uh, back on Cartoon Network in the late 90s, they did this cartoon that was a reimagination. It was anime. Well, it was anime because it was done by the people that did on Flux. Okay. It was called Rain, and it was a reimagination of uh, Alexander the Great. Okay. And, like, that shit's, you know, I'm kind of like a historical buff. I like that kind of stuff. I wanted to watch it, but, man, the animation just sucked. Really? Sucked. You know, there's just, like I said, man, so many good ones out there. Man. But, uh... You remember The Mask had his own cartoon? I do. That was bad. Yeah. That was bad. Yeah, that's that's no, no mask. You remember... <laughs> This is kind of going off the comic books, but it's... Well, Mask was probably by Dark games. Horse. Captain N. Did you watch any Captain N? Captain N. N uh, the Nintendo thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that briefly. The kid that had the powers after her. Here, you might remember, because nobody can fucking remember this show. They look at me like I'm in my own world. There was a show, I want to say it was on Channel 50, where... It might have been Captain N, I'm not sure. Where the, the show started, it wasn't a cartoon, it was live action. And it was this kid, he was like in an arcade. And he was talking about the current video games from Nintendo and all this stuff. And then he's like, now let's watch the cartoon. And it would turn into a cartoon for a while. And at the end of the episode, they came back. Remember the original Mario Brothers TV show? Oh, yes, with Captain Lou. Yeah, like, it was like that, kind of. Right on. But the kid was in a video arcade place. Huh. And they were always talking about Nintendo games. Like, I remember when Super Mario 3 came out. They, that was a big thing, and then they get into a cartoon. It might have been Captain you know, N. That, that, no, Captain know. N was... Captain N started live action. The first episode. Okay. Because it was a kid and he's playing a video game and all of a sudden he gets like sucked into this Nintendo world. Okay. Which it's really funny because the company that made the game didn't really want to pay for the rights to any of the characters. So they kind of made like shitty versions of Mega Man and Simon Belmont. And, yeah. Uh, like the evil... Oh, dude, it's the dude... Go home and YouTube some of it. It's hilarious. The, the big bad on that show was Mother Brain. Okay. And it had like big lips and huge eyes with like huge eyelashes, and it was like, oh yeah, baby! It was like, it was just <laughs> over the top, like, just it was hilarious, man. Loved that cartoon. It's really sucked. I love the Mario cartoon. Mario was awesome. Now, there's been so many that have been released on DVD, I lose track of what order to watch them in. So I've got the original Super Mario Brothers Super Show. That was the one with Captain Lou. They did two Fox. seasons of that. Yeah. It, and on Fridays, they aired Zelda, which I have as well. Um, they aired the two seasons of the Mario. But then they came out with The Adventures of Super Mario Brothers on DVD. Mm-hmm. They came out with... I just seen it at Target earlier today, or yesterday. Um, Super Mario Brothers, the Lost World uh, cartoon with Yoshi and shit. I'm like, what is all this? When did I miss I all of this? Came, that probably came when you got a little older, because I know what you're talking about. Because like, I don't remember any of that. I remember the Captain Lou show, that and stuff. that was it. Yeah. You know, the Captain Lou show was the... Oh, was man. The best. That was so great. My, uh... Melissa and her little <laughs> sister tried to sit down because that's on Netflix now. Is it really? Yes. And they're, like, huge Mario fans. They couldn't get into it. Her little sister was like, this sucks. And I'm like, yeah, it's because you're fucking 15 and you don't know any better. Yeah. You know? It's like, you just don't understand. No. Dude, the best part of that show was the cereal they had for it. Do you remember? Now we're talking about yes. fat kids. Hell yes. But the Nintendo cereal? Hell yes. Where it came? was on one side. Yes! The on the yes! Other. That cereal was yes. fucking delicious. Was shit. Man, they don't make cereal like they used to. Hell no. 
You know, that one cereal that I loved to this day, I still make on my own because they don't sell it anymore. Is the Spider-Man animated TV uh, I cereal that stuff. with the white box where I had him on the box behind the bowl, where it's basically just rice checks and marshmallows. Uh huh. You can never find that anymore. So what I do is I go to the store and I buy the box of checks, the generic brand, and then I buy like the Walmart brand bag of the bags of cereal, like the Magic Stars or whatever, uh-huh. and I pour it out on the counter. I shit you not. Like it'll be, last time I did this was like three in the morning. My dad's like, "What the fuck are you doing?" And, and you I'm pick in out the, the marshmallows. I pick out the marshmallows. <laughs> okay, because you can't use just regular marshmallows. No, they gotta be like those shitty. Yeah. So I picked out all the marshmallows, put all the cereal back in a zippy, and then I took all the marshmallows. I dumped them in the checks bag and I shook the hell out of it. And I went into a sugar-induced coma so bad my <laughs> teeth were hurting. With every bite, my That's teeth so were like, "Ow." Oh. But I still ate it. You remember the Batman Fucking series? Fucking great. From like 89? The one that came with the Batman bowl? Yeah. Yeah, it was featured on Comic Book Man, and the, the dumbasses ate it. That shit was just like Captain Crunch and yeah. Batman shapes. Yeah. I love that stuff. I too. ate that shit. Mr. T! Oh, good God. Hulk Hogan's uh, wrestling cartoon. Was it Rock and Wrestling? Or? Rock and Re- Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling? Oh, yeah. my God, that was something. With Andre the Giant and the Junkyard Dog? Fuck yes. Man, so many great cartoons. I so, was steering off the path of the comic yeah, cartoons while now. We, while we, yeah, steering off, that's a good thing, though. Right. Because I remembered The Tick. Oh, beautiful. Like, how could you forget The beautiful. Tick? Beautiful. We're talking about great comic book-based cartoons. Oh, man, tick. that was definitely way before its time. Way. And it's so way that, like, five or six years later, they started replaying it at night on Comedy Central. Yes, that's what I was going to say. That should have been a cartoon on late night, shit like that. That should have been, man, dude, Yeah, uh, Friday... John was hanging outside the window. He was on his phone, and I was in the store talking to somebody. And the construction guys that left plywood. So he holds up a piece of plywood, and he's just doing this. The first thing that came to my mind was when Arthur said he didn't want to be Tick sidekick anymore. So the Tick made another sidekick made out of plywood. And he just what did you call him? Just was it a plank or something? Yeah, like that? I, he was just like spoon, dude. I love that cartoon. That was the best, dude. The battle car spoon. Now, what did you think, getting off so- topic with the cartoons, what did you think of the live-action Tick TV series? You know, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. Right. Um, I, if I actually rewatched it now, I'd probably like it more. Yeah. Because Patrick Warburton voices Brock Sampson on the Venture Brothers, and I'm, like, a huge Venture Brothers fan. Mm-hmm. So now, like... And he does, uh, what's his name, Family Guy? Oh, yeah, yeah, the wheelchair guy. I can't forget. Joe? Yeah. So I could probably go... You know, there was an episode, like, where... There's this big, almost like a Captain America kind of superhero. Mm-hmm. Or kind of, I meant the live action one? Or the yeah, it's the live action okay. one. And he dies. And Tick can't wrap his head around the idea of death. Yeah. It's one of the best episodes of life. That's a good show. Man. I don't get why they changed names around. They Bat changed. Manuel? Yeah, Bat Manuel. I thought that was hilarious. It was funny, but how come he couldn't have been That was so Mouse? racist, though. Like, why couldn't he have been Deflator Mouse? I don't know, maybe copyright thing. I just I thought that was racist. But I it was hilarious. The Hispanic called like, Batman. You know, yeah, dude, the Flater Mouse in the cartoon favorite episode. It starts off with him. Sh- he's uh, he's in the shower. He comes out with the towel around his waist, towel around his neck, but he still has his mask on. And he looks at himself in the mirror. He does one of these. He's like aces, dude. I, f- I was saying that for years. Every time I shaved, I look in the mirror awesome. and just be like aces. David, David did nods to the man eating cow. Yes. That show was great. That was a great, great show. Back to the TV show. What the hell? Chairface Chippendale. Oh yes, dude, Chairface. What was the chick's name on that show? They changed her um, name too. She's like Liberty Maid or something because like that. Because she was the American Maid in the comic. Okay, no, it was American Maid in the in the show. It was on the TV, the live action show. They changed her name. Yeah, that's name. what I meant. Okay, yeah, I don't remember, but yeah, they did. Liber- and that was a great cartoon, dude. They had Liberty TV. Bell or some shit like that. No, that's. That's that chick from JSA. Was it? Yeah, Liberty Bell. I don't know. She's like the daughter of... Somebody and somebody. Somebody and somebody else. Yeah. Whatever. She became advised with the Speed Force. Dude, the During t- Flash Rebirth, which doesn't matter anymore. She became uh, Jesse Quick, wasn't she? That's right. She became Jesse Quick. She's the daughter of Liberty, the original Liberty Bell. Who and cares? Somebody else. Who cares? The yeah, piping dong, for all I care. <laughs> Tick, yeah, dude, hands down, great cartoon. But if we're getting off the subject of just comic cart or getting off of comic cartoons, I got to bring up Eat the Cat. 
Please tell me you watched Eat the Cat, the purple cat. There was a fucking retard that he had the humongous fat girlfriend. It was a pink cat. And she had a little dog named Sharky. I think I do remember that. And he talked like, oh my god, it's gracious. Kind of like that. He's a purple cat. It was not Fox. He was just like the most, uh, he was the most gullible cat because he was just like, he, nobody could do any wrong in his eyes. And people were batting him and he just stood and see it. Like all he wanted to do was spend time with the love of his life. It was like a 900 pound fucking cat. This pink, big pink cat. That bitch. sounds very familiar. But Sharky the dog never let him in. And she was just always like, oh, Sharky loves you. And like, he'd be like, yeah, sure he does. And fucking Sharky's gnawing on his arm and shit. That cartoon was awesome. I just recently found that on, uh, there's a website. It's a TV shows on DVD or some shit like that. And, uh, dude, I picked up so many old school cartoons from there. that have never been released. But, uh, Earthworm Jim. Earthworm Jim. That was a funny cartoon for what it was. I remember playing a video game I thinking that was like high tech. I remember I got that shit. Right. My, awesome. my dad's like, 50 bucks! You better play this shit! It's the greatest shit ever. He used to take his head and whip it for the thing. That game was hard, though. 25 years later, it ain't shit. Yeah, you know, I passed this shit in my sleep. It's like, what the fuck is this? Those old games are actually hard, man. Yes, they are. Compared to... Games are a lot more forgiving nowadays. Yeah. But, uh... There's, there's a lot of cartoons. There's, man, just in your... Street Fighter on CBS. So you're not remember watching that. I have you? that full set. I'm have sorry you, that I have it. I paid like $4 for it, and I'm still sorry I own it. Have you seen any of the newer Spider-Man or Batman shows? Like, did you see... Beware the Batman? The Batman. The Batman? The Which Batman. One is that? It was the one that came on, like, in the late, like, early 2000s, I think. No, I do have the action figures for it, Where though. they, like, totally did reinterpretations. You of know his, what? I saw... His nemesis, his I saw the first few episodes, because when they first re- uh, released it on DVD... They didn't release it by season. They had released it, like, you know, Volume 1, Volume 2. Right, right. So I picked up Volume 1, and I watched it, and I thought it was pretty interesting. And I picked up a lot of the figures, but I didn't finish watching it. I know there's, like, four or five seasons, and you can buy them for, like, $10 a pop now. There's one of the Batmobiles that Eagle Moss just put out. Yeah, the yeah. I think it was 18. The last Eagle Moss I bought, remember when they skipped the month? Or they gave us, like, 12 and then 14? I think it was they did. They skipped 13 and yeah. 14, 15. No, they did. And uh, then 13, 16, and 17 came out. It was 15, 16, because right. I have 14. You're right, you're right. Because that was the last time I bought them. I had so it was 12 11, 12, no 13. It was, it was 11, 12, 14. 11, 12, 14, right. and then they're like 13, 15, 16. So I need 13, then 15, 16, and all the way to current. I'm, good. I'm behind on them. And then I got the special, the big bat or whatever. I'll get them. I ain't worried about it. We got enough. Obviously. Um, that bat tank looks awesome. But I mean, just some of the greatest. I mean, and then of course you can. We can't do this show without mentioning a lot of '80s cartoons. As cheesy as they are now, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. He-Man was fucking great. Dude. I try. I, I'm trying because it's on Netflix. So I'm trying to watch it now. Like, why there hasn't been like a resurgence for? I know he's getting like a comic book resurgence, which has been pretty good. But the newest issues artwork is totally shitty. Read my review. I fell behind on that. <laughs> I'm reading. I'm reading the DC um, He-Man crossover. Yeah, I'm, right I'm now. reading that too. That's all right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but that's that's one cartoon that's hard to watch now. Yeah. You know, you have to well, be so like that hard. Cats. Yeah. Like if you go, like I remember in the fucking like when I was in high school, probably like sixteen or seventeen, and Cartoon Network created Toonami, and they're bringing back all like the old badass eighties cartoons like Robotech and Thundercats. And I remember me and my friends were like, "I'll do bong session over here in so and so's house. We're gonna watch Thundercats." And we got all baked in like fifteen minutes in. We're like. How the fuck did we watch this? This shit's fucking stupid, man. <laughs> it's like conflict, no resolution. Like, yeah. shit just magically, everything's good. Like, damn, you know, fucking uh, mom was right. fucking shit up. And then there's these gay little robo bears. And, oh, look, everything is cool. How everything got cool? I don't know. There's just, there'll never be cartoons like they were back when I was a kid. Dude, Smurfs to me was huge. Yeah, I know. I said I went there with Smurfs. No, it's cool, man. I dug Smurfs when I was a little kid. It's all right. You know, you know, we were all little kids at some point. We were allowed to like shit that as an adult we might think is gay. You were a kid. That's, all right. I mean, uh, I'm going to... I'm sure you it. got Ninja Rap on your iPod. Yes, I do. Some people might be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I Actually, I do. But hey, man, it's all good. Dude, now that you mentioned Ninja Rap, this morning when I was getting ready to come to work, uh, you know, they're airing Turtles, the new episodes now, mm-hmm. and uh, I was watching a few minutes over with my kid. And she's like, Daddy, you were watching Turtles? I'm like, yeah, shush, sure, sure. I want to hear what they're saying. So uh, they walk into a trap, and as they're walking, there's a canister of ooze, which is the trap. And once you pick it up, it pulls a string that sets off all this shit. So Mikey's like, found it! And he runs over to it, he's like, go, ninja, go, ninja, go, go, ninja. I was dying. 
one thing I love about that Nickelodeon cartoon is the fact that it pays it, it nods to a lot of the shit that a lot, of, a lot of homage to yes so he started dancing and he's like go ninja go ninja That's awesome. I was like that is great and I then he picks up the hoops they're like stop stop. stop and he picks it up he's like oops <laughs> yeah, that's a great show, dude. I know some people that are like, I, like fucking the animation sucks. No, like, oh, man, dude, over it, it fits. It's it great. fits so good. It does, it does. But that's now. I'm going to not talk about the original Turtles cartoon because we'll be here for a whole other episode. I would just say... Plus, I think we already it, said that, too. I'll just say it's awesome. It is awesome. Um, but then, I mean, t- you cannot. we can't end this without mentioning two of the biggest 80s cartoons. G.I. Joe and the Transformers. And, of course, you had Voltron. Which Power Rangers, in my opinion, formed from Voltron. Megazord, come on, same shit. Totally. You know, and you know, even though Power Rangers was live action, I still consider it part of the '90s cartoon uh, bubble. You know, because it was obviously very cartoonish. Right. Yeah, no, and it was a kids show. You so know, it kind of falls into that. Right I, now. I consider it a cartoon. Uh, dude, GI Joe was great. Oh yeah, and GI Joe was good because again, there was another something that the '90s cartoons did. But you really didn't see a lot of in the 80s and the Transformers and G.I. Joe both did was they told a progressing storyline. Yes. And characters died sometimes. What I didn't get was did they hire fucking the writers who wrote Star Wars and wrote the Stormtrooper scenes to write the G.I. Joe stuff? Because in Star Wars the Stormtroopers couldn't fucking hit the side of a wall. Yeah, right? In G.I. Joe every pew, 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 pew. Right, Nobody ever got hit. You weren't a main character. You weren't fucking anything. There was the middle of a war zone, right? In like, GI Joe, <laughs> off, the entire screen is full of lasers because there's no bullets. So fucking right. laser blast. No one ever got hit. Roblox flipping burgers and shit. He's barbecuing and shit. Snake Eyes burger, four o'clock. Right. You know, Snake Eyes got the burger with one hand, his katana in the other. And then they did great movies. The movies for both those cartoons, respectively, were excellent. Oh, yeah, the cartoon, the animated movies? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The G.I. Joe one, I haven't watched in ages. I own it with the one with Sergeant Slaughter on the cover and stuff. I own it. I've just never watched it in ages. The Transformers one, hands down, fucking great. Dude, when oh. Bumblebee swore, I was like, dude, dude, the name of the like, chapter. Remember when they used to put chapter names on oh, DVDs? Yeah. They stopped doing that. But when it was like chapter 11, swear word. And nice. I was like, what? And I look, and he's just like, oh, shit. And I was like, <gasps> no, it wasn't Bumblebee. It was Spike. The adult Spike when he swore, and Bumblebee's like, "We're heading right to What's it." His face says, "Damn!" In that too, Ultra Magnus. Ultra Magnus. Yeah, when he's trying to open the Matrix, he's like, "Open, open, damn it, open, oh, damn!" Yeah, <laughs> and Galvatron's like, "You've lost." Boom! Just blast him. Yeah, I love that shit. That movie was fucking. And then great. when the cartoons came back on, they reflected what happened in, in those the movie. Movies. Yeah, exactly. You know, Rodimus was still prime. I, you know, season three wasn't the greatest Transformers season. I mean, that was when, you know, obviously it was after the movie, so it was the year 2005, as the narrator says. And you're like, really? That was like seven years ago. You know? <laughs> you're like, where's my fucking Transformers? You know where that show went to shit was the Headmasters. When it became Headmasters, then I'm fucking done with the original Transformers show. Well, that was only three episodes. Oh, it wasn't only three episodes? Okay, there's two ways. To look at it. Uh, season three was, you know, after the movie, Rodimus is in charge. At the end of season three is when Optimus came back. Right. Um, season four in America was only three episodes, and it was the, the Headmaster episodes. After the Headmaster episodes, they, they ended it. That was it. You know, season four was intended to just be three episodes. Oh. Which I don't understand. You know, you could have ended the season. It was like a special VHS tape they gave away with Headmaster action figures. Probably. <laughs> um, but if you continued to watch the Japanese version, season three was the exact same as the American version. Season four, if you continue to watch the Japanese, if you watch the Transformers Headmaster series, you disregard the three American episodes. Uh-huh. So you watch the end of season three, and then you watch the Headmaster series. And then from there, it goes to um, Transformers Masterpiece, which is another like 40 episodes or something like that. Then from there, it goes to Transformers Victory, which was the final one, which technically is six seasons. Damn. The animation was fucking great. Yeah. I mean, cause Japan animation, so... But before we wrap this up, I feel like there's just a couple I'm going to... There's, there's some great shows out. Bad and Brave and the Bold it was something I avoided. A lot, lot, lot of, like, B and C and D-list fucking characters that you never see show up on that show. What do you think of the later Transformers stuff? Lot of Beast. Not like, like Be- Beast Wars. Well, I was gonna say not. Well, I hated Beast Wars at first. I didn't watch it. I was just like, "What is this shit? Copying Transformers?" But I didn't garbage. care for like Armada. 
Yeah. Armada was... I, I have the... They're called the, the Unicron Trilogy. Mm-hmm. I've got all three of them. They were okay. They weren't as good as they could have been. Robots in Disguise was a fucking joke. I don't watch Prime either. The new one. I watched a few episodes. Um, too... You ever watch Robots in Disguise? No. That was the one where Optimus was the fire truck. Yeah, and it no. was the, the three Autobot brothers, x Prowl, and Sideburn. And they fought the Predacons. And then Megatron decided to make Decepticons. He cloned some of the Autobots. Yeah, no. And they introduced Nemesis Prime, which is the Black yeah. Optimus. It was all right for what it was. Um, it was a little bit... There was, like, the uh, Japanimation influence was coming down because you would see the sweat drop on them. Mm-hmm. It was like, come on, they're Autobots. They're fucking robots, Yeah, dude. totally. Um, but Same the problem with that... Um, it started airing okay, but then 9-11 happened. And because of 9-11, for, I forgot what the reason was. They stopped airing for a little while, and then when they started airing, they aired them out of order. Oh, that's always good. So, it just... fucked everything up. Yeah. But with Beast Wars, I, I was just like, I don't want to watch this crap. This is a Transformers ripoff. Then somebody told me, dude, no, it takes place in the same universe. You know, it's, they t- explained it to me. Went back and watched it, and I was like, why never... Why This is great. This is great. Now, Beast Machines is a whole other story. Another honorable mention, dude, before we wrap this up. Micro, biker Mice from Mars! <laughs> Well, you guys want me to mention Street Sharks, then. Street Sharks! Bro, 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 bro. Uh, I got that on DVD, Young too. Justice, dude. I never watched I it. I wasn't really a fan of the first season, but the second season, Invasion, dude, that was great. Never watched it. Don't understand why they got canceled. I don't know. I mean, I get why they did it for the kids, but Teen Titans. Not the current one, Teen Titans Go. The original? The original Teen Titans. That, like, from what yeah, I understand... it was, like, campy, but it still had... Some undertones? It still was a show. It wasn't like the new one is where it's all joke. It's all camp. Right, the new one. Teen Titans Go. It's all kids. That's all for kids. It sucks. My daughter knows who that is. I didn't know she knew. We went to the toy store and she yeah, saw. She's like, Teen Titans. The I was newest, like, what? The newest falling of of CN, the Bat, the Beware the Batman. Gone. Horrible. It's done. It's done already. Pull. Wow. They have human played half of the season. Wow. There was. I think they've done eight to twelve of the twenty something episodes that were produced. Uh-huh. Uh huh. The guy that voices the Batman on that show says that it's going to be coming back in January. But as of right now, Cartoon Network's running back to back Teen Titans Go. Wow. And I don't really think that it sucked because I watched the first like six episodes. And it's a different take on Batman. And it's not really like I don't care for some of it. But if you can get past it, there's some interesting stuff there. Mm-hmm. But anyway, from what I would hope you've learned in these last two podcasts, it is there is a wealth of awesome comic book based cartoons out there. Oh yeah. And we haven't even touched on the Marvel and DC movies, which are gonna deserve podcasts of their own. Oh, the animated stuff? Or the straight-to-DVD stuff? Yeah. Okay. That'll be uh, next season. We'll say that for next season. Because if not, we will never finish. Right, never. Yeah, we'll be here. This will be like 35. We'll never get a dollar. (coughs) So join us next week for our final issue of the year, issue 30. And we'll be taking a holiday break and we'll be back next year with more Spinner Rack goodness. Yep. Until then, you can find everything you need at comicsremix.com. It's got the Spinner Rack, the 101 Comics Remix shows. Check out the tweets. Check out the page. If you like something, if you want to just be vocal about something, hit us up on Facebook. You can email us at comicsremix at gmail.com, be it Junior, myself, Brian, David, Carrie at the 101, or John. As always, I'm your host, Big B. Brian Adams. Joining me is the co-host, Comic Remix. Junior. We'll see you next week, issue 30. Peace.